Hello, this is Jenny Fern, and today I'm coming at you live. I'm not really, but um, I'm filming and doing the voiceover at the same time, or at least trying to. So I just want to talk about a few of the things that I did today. Today is Saturday, the day before this video goes up, and I didn't really have a cohesive story to tell, I guess, today. That That's my fridge. Sorry about that. <laughs> so I thought I'd tell you all of the things that I did, basically, today. Um, well, not everything, but a lot of it. So here you can see, I actually have footage for this. I baked some bread. Um, this is sourdough. This is not burnt. This is dock seed flour that I harvested about a year ago. And it's about that time, again, that I'll go out into the more wild areas. Uh, around here and go harvest some more. Actually, I have some growing in my backyard um, near one of the grapevines. Speaking of grapevines, that was a lot of my morning was going through all of the grapes that we have and harvesting and freezing. Well, here, let me grab a bag real quick. This is a big bag of grapes that I froze today. And basically that entails taking it off of the, the, I don't know, like the grapevine thing and um, putting them in a bag and putting those in the freezer. So this is kind of a lot of work. Um, I think I got through, I got to <laughs> I don't know the words for grape structures. So you know like this, like sub element of of the grape. This portion, I did about six of these, I think, today. Either s six or eight. I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, so I did that. That was a lot of time. It's tedious work, um, but sometimes it's nice to just do something with your hands for a while. So that was something. And if you're wondering why it is in like a takeout bag, <laughs> it's because we save these bags um, for use, for reuse, um, for all sorts of things. And we're actually running, we're out of larger storage Ziploc bags, so this is what I'm using instead of going and buying more larger storage Ziploc bags because I have something that can be used. So, so I also cut some cherry tomatoes in half and arrange them on the drying racks to put in my dehydrator and that was because I think I had three maybe three or four days of harvests that I hadn't processed yet so it was um getting to be a little out of hand and um I'll have those running through the night although I'm probably gonna shift these rows around so that they dry a little bit more evenly. So, just do that. Um, I also dried off and saved some tomato seeds that had been um, fermenting in a cup uh, above the sink for a few days, so I needed to take care of that before it got really gross. I did uh, water and uh, just check up on my whole garden this evening, and so I harvested some food. I harvested some of this um, lemon basil, and so this is how I dry it. Um, I really, <laughs> I really need to go through and get the uh, the old dried uh, stuff off of here. Like, I mean, this has been here for ages. The lavender but um, I just keep harvesting it so frequently. That's Gordon, my cat. That's his little old bell. So, I'm <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, there's a lot less distractions when I record the voiceovers in my room, but anyway, I thought I'd do this, I don't know, describe things as I go today. I'm just kind of looking around, like, at all of the things that I have yet to do, and so that's not really what I'm supposed to be doing. I like I'm like looking at my uh, drying sunflower heads and I'm like, I need to take the sunflower seeds out of this. It's not, not, not now. <laughs> uh, 
Um, let me show you some of my harvests uh, from today. I harvested a lot of like leafy things today. That, I think that's it on the leaf side of things. So this is one of the bags that I just continually reuse for fresh greens. Um, so some kale, some beet greens, some mustard greens, and then all of this is chia greens because yesterday I filmed that garden tour and um, I was mentioning like, oh, I hope the chia, you know, goes to bloom and goes to seed. Um, I gotta look into that and see if it's like super fro frost tender and how long I really have versus like when I planted them. So I want to see if I actually do have enough time to potentially harvest seed. Because um, if not, the greens might be the only thing that I have. Um, so it's um, supposed to be very nutrient heavy. It's like supposed to be good for you. Um, I've never had them before. They smell kind of weird. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. They kind of smell like weed. Um, which I'm not, I don't really find pleasant. And it's in the mint family, I'm fairly certain. So, uh, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I think I read that you could make a tea out of it. So I'll look into what I'm doing with this. If it's, I've also heard that you can eat it like spinach, but it smells kind of bad. So I'm not really sure if I want to eat it. I also picked a stupid tiny zucchini. <laughs> Uh, this is the small zucchini I picked because also yesterday when I was talking about the um, That one zucchini plant having really small zucchini and if you don't pick them they like get all yellow and die um, This is what I'm talking about. This is like the max size that it'll produce before it just starts like rotting away I have no idea what is going wrong on that plant, but I thought I'd better pick it before it just stops um, we'll see if that's like something it outgrows or what. It might be some like nutrient deficiency or something. You know what I glazed over during the garden tour was this tomato plant that produces these tomatoes. Um, I did not have this... Gordon, could you stop? I did not have the seeds that produce these tomatoes. I didn't plant these tomatoes. This, I'm pretty sure, is a volunteer tomato plant from the previous owners of this house slash garden um, that came up as a volunteer plant this year. So um, it's in kind of a weird position in the garden, but it's producing these really nice, um, good slicing tomatoes. So we've been eating tomato sandwiches. So that's what I had for lunch. I made myself a tomato sandwich. So it was good. I even ended up using some of that mustard, that arugula mustard from one of the earlier videos, which was pretty good. I also harvested two okra today and chopped them up and froze them with all the rest of the okra that I have. Um, and I have some footage for that as well. Um, I'm hoping to do like a roast, like roast okra or something like that. Basically, Matt told me that he was not going to eat okra fresh, <laughs> and so I need to find some way to cook it um, in order for him to eat it. So that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> this is kind of a weird location to show this next thing, but I also watched some TV today, and I've been working on curtains. So I've been crocheting the bottom because the fabric is too short to cover up the window. So I'm just doing a little crochet thing on the bottom to cover up the rest of it. Um, so I did some work on this. Um, I'm hoping to have this as like a self-contained video, um, but it is taking quite a long time, so who knows when that will be out. So uh, I also finished reading this book the night before, I think. Maybe it was two days ago, but I thought I'd just bring it up. Um, it's a sci-fi book about um, Basically, somebody like landed on their planet and he like assimilated into their culture, but he was from like society at large and he warned them about society at large and how they were going to destroy their way of life. And so they were prepared 
when that eventually did happen and they had a plan for how to um, evade the problems that come when uh, an indigenous society is faced with society at large. <laughs> I can't I can't recall what they call I guess it's like the Federation or some something along those lines, something very sci-fi. Um, I thought the cover art was very cool looking. I still really like it. Um, it doesn't really have anything to do with the story. Um, the plants and the story, like the critical plants that they mention all the time are gourds. Um, and these aren't particularly gourdy to me. <laughs> so anyway, I finished this book recently. Um, and I also finished reading a book um, more than this by Patrick Ness, which was on my list for a while as something that I thought um, would be interesting to read. It is a YA, um, like sci-fi dystopian kind of book, and um, I thought it, the concept was really interesting. Um, I was not super interested, this is gonna sound bad, I was not super interested in the characters, um, and it, I don't know if it just was, it was a little bit too surface for me. I feel like it would have been, I don't know, I think I would have liked an adult version of this book. I think I might, <laughs> sounds bad, I think I might be too old for YA. <laughs> so, I don't know. Anyway, it felt a little bit immature, um, but the concept was pretty interesting. That's most of what I did. Uh, I did a lot of kitchen, like, food prep stuff or um, food preservation stuff. Uh, I did a lot of dishes. I also made a lot of dishes, <laughs> and I played with my dog a few times, um, hung out with my cats, watched some TV. Yeah, I think that about wraps it up. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed this, and as always, thanks for watching!